as the men up top. Martial at cam. Mkhitaryan, Pogba at CM. Under Herrera at CDM. We don't see Ibrahimovic being featured in his side unless I think he is only making changes right now, actually. So Ibrahimovic will be featured, in fact, at cam. Will not want to miss out a waste player like Ibra. At the defense, we have probably Bai, Smalling. Valencia, David De Gea in net as well as Luke Shaw at left back and let's move on to Saifud inside pretty interesting false nine formation he has running up in there Ronaldo and Bill on the flanks Benzema playing as the center forward uh, Modric at CDM Rodriguez and Cruz at CM Marcelo Ramos Varane instead of Pepe we saw yesterday that many of the players that chose Real Madrid actually opted to go for Pepe instead of Varane. But today we are seeing a difference here in Saifuddin picking Varane instead of Pepe. Dani Cavallal remains as the first choice right back as well as Kelo Navas in net. Alright, so... The boys are about to get ready for everyone on the floor. I hope all of you are ready as well. All the games will be starting in less than a minute. So everyone that's here, anybody is a Manchester United fan? Any Man U fans? Man U fans, make some noise. I see a Man U fan in the back. Ah, uh, a few Man U fans. All right. Any Real Madrid fans? Real Madrid? Okay, I see one over there. All right, okay. Thank you so much for joining us. Remember, this is brought to you by the Singapore Football Week. It is the eFootball showdown where pro players that play the game FIFA 17 come together to compete. And the prize pool is up to $2,000 for the first prize and $500 worth of prizes for them to take away. All right. So this is going to be Manchester United versus Real Madrid, as well as all the competitors. You guys may start now. And I will hand it over to Samuel. Let's go guys, very interesting first match we have up here. Hibri playing, very well-known player in the scene. Uh, has represented Singapore quite a number of times alongside Amran. So it'll be interesting to see how he performs today in his Manchester United side. And we have Hibri attacking from left to right in red. And Saifuddin attacking from right to left in the white kit of Real Madrid. You see Hibri trying to launch an attack, will get cut out immediately by Gareth Bale. Oh, beautiful interception, poor pass once again. Ibra with a bit of space, fake shot. Unfortunately, unable to find some space. United still have the ball though. Maran Fellaini. Luke Shaw in the box now. Good tackle by Danny Caballal once again, performing since yesterday really. A top choice right back. Long pass cut out there by Manchester United. Rooney holding up the play. Good bit of passing movement here from Manchester United. Finds Ibra, bit of space. Finds the shot. But unfortunately, Keylor Navas will deny the big sweep. First corner, six minutes in. Swing, swings one in. Navas will get to it once again another corner takes it short Valencia now will he cross it in he'll dribble in will not find his teammate though Marcelo will carry the ball out of defense Real Madrid looking to go on the counter now James Rodriguez with a bit of space in front of him will just be able to outstrength Antonio Valencia but the ball has far too much pace on it for him to latch onto it really. Henrik Mkhitaryan now. Poor pass. Bale on the right flank. Will not get past Smalling. We're seeing a lot of wing play from Saifur in here. Will manage to try and get a chance. Modric has a shot on his weak foot. Will just shoot it just wide. Unfortunately, both these players have not been able to convert both their first chances. 
It's been nil-nil here still. Despite the action we've had. Pogba with a bit of moves. Cuts in. Cuts in once again. Will he find a shot? And unfortunately the Madrid defense will see to the danger. United still threatening though. Martial on the left. Works. Can he work something out here? Still has the ball. Still with the moves. Unfortunately will not be able to send the cross in. Will get Shepard out for a goal kick. Marcelo switches the play to Rafael Varane. Sony Cruz. Back to Sony Cruz. Good bit of play. Benzema now with a bit of space. Gives it out wide. Bale. Cuts back in. Sends the cross in. Will not beat Maran Fellaini in the air. Marcelo though will win the ball back from Zlatan Ibrahimovic. Saifuddin, as you see, he's been really keeping the ball quite well. Good bit of passing play, getting his momentum going. Keeping his composure on the ball, really. Truly working the false nine formation to great effect. Will get cut out now. United look to attack in, 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 in speed. United taking it slow now. Luke Shaw on the ball. He looks for option. He finds Mikitari and Maron Fellaini. Clever back heel. Back to Fellaini. Will find Mikitari and who will find Ibra in the box. Has a shot. Again, will be denied by the goalkeeper, Kelo Navas. Two great, great shots and even better saves from the goalkeeper here. Real Madrid will really look to get a goal if they want to see of Zlatan Ibrahimovic. Will he send the cross in? Will get cut out by Smalling. United regain possession. Risky passing, but still, they have the ball. A poor pass from Luke Shaw. Gareth Bale will pick it up. James, Benzema, will he go back to James? Yes, he will. James with a shot and James puts it in. Great bit of build-up here. After the sloppy pass from Luke Shaw, he was injured, but it was a sloppy pass in fact. And Bale picks it up, Real Madrid move on the counter, and United really paying for their mistakes, conceding a goal in the first 35 minutes. And now, just 10 minutes before halftime, they are trailing 1-2-0. We'll get cut out now. Madrid looking to go on another attack. Ronaldo with heaps of space. Benzema as well. Poor pass. Benzema will still pick it up. Gives it to Ronaldo. Ronaldo will put it in the back of the net. But it will be offside. So the goal will be disallowed. It will not count. The scoreline remains 1-0. Poor pass from Fellaini. Ronaldo switches the play out to Gareth Bale. Good bit of passing here from Saifuddin. Finds Benzema. James Rodriguez will not be able to find himself some space. Henrik Mkhitaryan in a very advanced position now. Will get cut out by Dani Cavayal. He's been a brick at the back really. Bale with a lot of space in front. Smalling will not catch him. He gives it to Benzema. Benzema will cut it back for Tony Cruz who has a shot. Second bite of the cherry. Far too weak for David De Gea. United will look to attack one last time before halftime. Anthony Martial with a bit of space. He was clean through on goal, but the referee decides to pull it back for the halftime whistle. So going into the half, Real Madrid leads 1-0.
And United have got to do something, you know, they got to work their magic. Ibra and Pogba has got to step up and score those crucial goals that can probably see them get back into the game. It's not, it's not long, you know, it's not a long lost game, it's just 1-0. Still a whole half to be played and we shall see what happens seeking through ball trying to find Benzema will not be able to do so Pogba good bit of close control something you don't see every day Ibra on the flanks now will he get past Marcelo yes he can definitely but the pace is far too much for the big Swede. Modric now will cleverly find his teammate. Ronaldo on the left side. Smalling cuts in. Modric back to Ronaldo. Will he send in the cross this time? Will get cut out once again. Real Madrid have not been able to send them, send their crosses in really. Have always been denied at the very last moment before they whip it in. Fellaini is seeing a lot of the ball in midfield. Pogba will get tackled by Sergio Ramos. Reaching the hour mark now. The scoreline remains 1-0. Real Madrid leading Manchester United. Just slimly though. But they look to be playing really well. Their momentum looks to be on their side. Confidence. They have their composure. Saifuddin has got the composure in him. So we'll look to see whether he's able to see out the 1-0 win, really. Oh, he has a good chance here with Benzema. Smalling, far too good. Read that like a book. Damian now on the left side. Poor pass. Will get cut out by Cavallal. Finds Bale successfully, but Smalling again being a break at the back for the Manchester United defence. Oh, beautiful chip through pass into the box. Finding James Rodriguez, unfortunately, will not be able to get his shot away perfectly and will go out for a goal kick. Great bit of great vision, really, to find the player running into space and to time the pass perfectly it was brilliant from Saifud in there. Henrik Mkhitaryan will find Martial, who will get cut out last ditch challenge from Rafael Baran. Madrid on the ball now. Ronaldo definitely not going to catch him on that left side. Will he be able to send in the cross or will he dribble in? He tries dribbling in. Will it be a penalty? Yes, it will. Modric gets fouled by Eric Bailly from the back. It will be a penalty to Real Madrid. Ronaldo will be stepping over the penalty. Will he convert is the question now. Ronaldo steps up and Ronaldo skies it tries to be cheeky with the cheeky chip unfortunately skying his chance way off the crossbar and that denies him the second goal denies him the uh, ability to put him in, firmly in the driving seat Manchester United still got a chance can win and punish him now with Rooney Rooney on the flank Rooney tries to find some options will get cut out eventually and it's Real Madrid ball once again. 70th minute. Pauses being made. Will we see some substitutions? Yes, we will. Changes being made for Hibidi now. Casemiro comes in for Real Madrid as well as Isco for Cruz. Modric goes out. James Rodriguez will be subbed off for Asensio. And Manchester United will be looking to give us an entertaining game with the 3-5-2 formation. Damian will be playing on the left side. Fellaini, or rather Rooney and Pogba at CDM. Mkhitaryan at Cam. Martial and Ibra will lead the attack as well as, I think, Bailly Smalling. And I'm not too sure who's the last defender. But there will be three at the back. Lingard comes on for Marwan Fellaini on the right side of midfield. So we'll see how this very offensive change has will uh, affect Hibri's gameplay. Really, you know, not too many players have 
bit brave enough to make changes in the middle of the games we have seen yesterday. But it's good to see Hibri making some changes, you know, switching things up when things aren't looking too good. Whips out the 3-5-2, very offensive formation. It'll, it'll be interesting to see how he works this formation out against uh, 4-3-3, false 9, Real Madrid side. Lingard on the ball now, new substitute. Ibra, good fake shot. Will he send in the cross? Tries to cut back inside. Ramos will tackle him with ease. Poor pass though. Will pick it up by Rooney. Lingard on the flank. Will find Ibra. Tries to get back to Lingard. Unfortunately, poor pass from Lingard there. Madrid will retain possession. Isco. Benzema with a lot of space now. This is the, dif this is the danger of playing three-man defense. You, you're quite open at the back, especially on counter-attacks, really. You're left back-footed. Casemiro with the attacking responsibilities. Isco with a beautiful bit of dribbling. The finesse he took to bring the ball around him was just exquisite. And the finish was even better to put it past his Spaniard teammate, David De Gea. Real Madrid leads 2-0 now. Remember, this is a best of three series. So the winner of this match has not just quite done it yet. He still has to win one more match. The winner of two matches will proceed to win the, the whole series, really, and proceed to the second round, the second part of the tournament. Benzema will be offside five more minutes. For the 90 here, will United get a consolation goal? Can they even pull it back maybe? Or will Real Madrid's defense prove to be far too solid to break down? Mkhitaryan, Ibra, good bit of skill. Once again, tries to cut in. That's so well. Oh my God, on the line clearance from the Real Madrid defender. Martial being denied uh, almost about three yards away from goal. Great bit of defending from the Los Blancos defenders here. Unfortunate and unlucky really for the Manchester United player. We'll see Ronaldo on the left side. We'll give it to Asensio at the edge of the box. Isco now will crack, have a crack. But David De Gea will save that comfortably. Ibra holds up the play, finds options. Finds Lingard on the flanks. Poor pass once again will get cut out. Mkhitaryan, Martial, will he get a consolation now? His countryman, Baran, denies him though. And there is the full-time whistle. Real Madrid wins Manchester United 2-0. Hibri not looking too good going into the series, but he still has two more games to try and pull it back, pull the scores back even. And we'll see and hopefully he can try to work his magic here in game number two. Will we see the same teams though? I believe Saifuddin will be staying true to his Real Madrid side and Hibidi will be going on the opposite side of Manchester towards the city in Manchester City. Will he, we see a 4-1-2-1-2 again? No, we will not. Oh wait. I am not, I think, okay, I think Hibri has gone with Real Madrid, maybe. I'm just thinking via forma formation, really. Hibri has gone with Real Madrid, 4-1-2-1-2. And uh, Saifuddin has gone to the other side of Manchester, in Manchester City, playing the, the false nine with them. Using the false nine to great effect, his defense has been solid. Attacking play has been great, and... More noticeably, his passing has been on point really. He has been making good decisions in attack, n not making many silly mistakes, keeping the ball really well and being very careful with it. So it'll be interesting to see, you know, obviously he doesn't have the likes of James Rodriguez and Modric this time. But David Silva, De Bruyne and Yaya Toure uh, a great midfield trio as well. Surely will look to dominate the midfield battle with those three powerhouses in midfield.
Final changes for Hippity. First time we've seen a Manchester City being featured in this tournament on this stage. It will be interesting to see how the likes of Sergio Aguero performs. As we get our game underway in the Etihad Stadium, Saifuddin in the kit of Manchester City attacking from left to right and Hibidi in the kit of Real Madrid attacking from right to left Hibidi will kick us off here good bit of passing play to start off the game finds Ronaldo in a perfect position the fake shot will just just goes in front of him City will look to get the ball back Sane now we know that Sane has a lot of pace in him and surely he switches on the after boosters here Goes tries to play in Yaya Toure, but Pepe will be too strong for the Ivorian. Ronaldo, cheeky back heel to his midfielder. Ronaldo on the right side, will he send in the cross? Will try to dribble his way through, gets past two defenders, tries to get past the third, but unfortunately will not be able to do so. De Bruyne in the heart of midfield now, switches the play to Leroy Sané once again. Will not be able to find him, just too much power on the pass. We look Modric in the heart now. Modric seeing a lot of the ball in this attack. Being the focal point in midfield really. Ramos in a very advanced position. Can he do something here? Modric, poor pass. Will give the ball away. Fifteen minutes of in-game time just in. None of these teams really threatening yet. Manchester City have a chance to though. De Bruyne with a bit of space will get muscled out by Varane. Proving to be too strong for the Belgian. Both sides not really dominating yet. Pretty even Steven here we have the game. Real Madrid will look to make something out of this attack though. Ramos again in an advanced position. Gareth Bill tries to get past Bakary Sangna. Will not be able to do so. Sangna plays the ball out of defense. Yaya Toure leading the attack now. Aguero in a bit of space. Finds Aguero. Back to Yaya Toure. Will get tackled by the strong Sergio Ramos. Real Madrid will look to go on the counter now. Benzema Bale on the left side. Will try to find Ronaldo. Unfortunately, was not the right decision to make. Man City will get back on the ball. Leroy Sané with a lot of space. Will not be able to get past Pepe though. So if I'm not wrong, I think what Hibidi has done here is that he's playing Ramos at center defensive midfield. That's why he's so far pushed up. And Baran and Pepe will be his central center backs. And yeah, that seems to be the case. So I have, I have seen quite a few people play Ramos at center defensive midfield. I have done so myself. He is a great midfielder, midfielder choice really. It's... He, his attacking uh, capabilities can be put to better use in that position and the pace that he has you know, makes him a good center defensive midfielder something that not, you know, not too many people including myself like Casmero so Ramos will be a good alternative as we find James Rodriguez in the box James Rodriguez will dribble past Otamendi the first time not being able to do the second time though it's still nil-nil. Both these players, especially Hibdi, getting to the box, getting to the final third. But the last 10% has not been the best yet. He has always been faltering 
at the very final moment just before getting the goal so will he you know be clinical with his chances and try to score a few goals get himself back into the series because let me remind you he is at a slight disadvantage being 2-0 behind in the first game an early goal would surely be a good confidence boost for him Danilo being chosen over Dani Cavallal. First time we've seen that in this tournament. Manchester City being patient in their build-up. Yaya Toure with a bit of space. Yaya Toure will fire the shot. And Yaya Toure will make it 1-0. Saifuddin once again putting himself ahead first in the game. Yaya Toure, he hasn't got that bit of pace, but he has got the strength. And given one-on-one -on -one opportunities, Yaya Toure will be the man to score you those goals as he gets the goal for Saifuddin here. Putting Manchester City 1-0 in front of Real Madrid. Just before halftime, five more minutes. Can Hibidi get a goal just before halftime? It will be a great time to score a goal. Manchester City not seem to be... Just relaxing yet. Ronaldo, Bill. Bill finds Ramos. Ramos, what can he do? Poor pass will get cut out by the Manchester City defender. Again being cut out by the Manchester City defender. The defense for Manchester City has been performing really well. As we see, Ronaldo fires the shot. A good opportunity to put this score on an even scale. But Ronaldo again being denied. Ronaldo not being too clinical in this tournament we've seen so far since yesterday. As we go into the half, Manchester City having only 39% possession says that shots are what matters than possession stats really. And they lead the game 1-0. Can Real Madrid work something here? They are the, probably the best team in the world. Can they pull something out of the bag? Will Ronaldo be able to step up? Maybe even Bale, Modric. So many superstar names. Sané whips the cross in. Will get dealed and sorted out by Simon Pepe. James Rodriguez will intercept the pass. Bill just unfortunately not being able to get past Vincent Company. Manchester City keeping the ball well here. Yaya Toure again with a bit of space. Will try finding Sergio Aguero, the man with pace. But he doesn't have the space. Passing of the Real Madrid players haven't been too great. Giving the ball cheaply away constantly. Hibri really needs to get his momentum up. Keep the ball a bit. Oh, good bit of play. Sterling with a lot of space. Aguero in the box. will try finding Aguero with the fancy flick. But the defender will block the pass. Goal stopping opportunity really. We'll see Ronaldo on the right side now. Asensio. James Rodriguez. Tries to find Modric. Will get blocked out. Long pass. Finding Sterling. Marcelo cuts it out. Reaching the hour mark now. The scoreline remains 1-0. Pretty similar to the previous match. We saw... Inside Fudin leading the game 1 0. This time he still is. Gareth Bale with a bit of skill. Gareth Bale has a shot. Unfortunately, did not generate the necessary power behind the ball to put it past Kelo Navas, or rather, sorry, Claudio Bravo. The players will look to make changes now. Yaya Ture will come out for Fernandinho. Kovacic 
will come out for Asensio. Really interesting there, Kovacic. Not too many people fancy Matteo Kovacic in their Real Madrid side, but he'll be you know, showing us what he has practiced at home with this team. Maybe Kovacic can prove to be the deciding factor in the game, the game-changing factor, really. Ronaldo shimmying, finds space. Ramos now shimmying, looking for options. He finds Bill. Bill tries to flick it back to James Rodriguez. Will not be able to do so. Kovacic with a fake shot will not get past Otamendi. Fernandinho, the substitute, will play the ball out of midfield. Man City look to go on the attack. Aguero trying to get past the whole defense, but the pass will get cut out by Rafael Varan easily. Red, poor pass really from the Argentine forward. Real well, Madrid keeping the ball, but just as I say that, they lose it out to the Brazilian Fernandinho in midfield. Raheem on the flanks now. Raheem has got lots of space and pace. Fernandinho finds De Bruyne. Sterling, Sagna finds De Bruyne. Will get cut out by Ramos. Good interception. But will get tackled by David Silva. Sergio Aguero will not be able to do anything with the ball. Driven pass to Silva. Silva tries to find Fernandinho at the edge of the box. Will cut back outside. Finds De Bruyne at the edge of the box. Tries to cut back outside. The defender will read him like a book. James Rodriguez with the beautiful through pass onto Gareth Bale. He has got a lot of pace. He has got strength. Will he send in the cross? He tries to send in the cross, but Claudio Bravo reads it well, gets off his line early and claims the ball. Real Madrid have just got lesser than 20 minutes, lesser than 15 minutes really, to try and score the equalizer and pull the game back to even Steven here. Will they be able to do so? That is the question. Will the Manchester City defence prove to be far too good as we see Ronaldo? Will he have a chance here at goal? Still Ronaldo, still Madrid ball. James Rodriguez tries to find his player in the box. Company will read it like a book though. Offside will be an indirect free kick to Manchester City. Pause being made by one of these players will be ciphered in silver will be taken out for Nolito who will be playing at that central midfield spot as well as Gabriel Jesus playing at centre mid. A striker with five star skill moves, new summer signing for the city side will be featured at centre midfield this time. Very interesting central midfielders Saifuddin has chosen to pick in the form of Nolito a winger and Gabriel Jesus a striker. We'll see how that works out for him. He is leading the game. Maybe an offensive change might not to be too wise. Maybe a bit more defensive steal at the back would be wiser. But I'm sure he knows what he's doing. And I'm sure he, Gabriel Jesus will be used to great effect at that central midfield spot. Fernandinho now. Nolito in a very advanced position. That's what he's paid to do. Sangna will still pick up the ball. Gabriel Jesus will find Leroy Sané. Leroy Sané will send in the cross. And Sergio Aguero will put the game to bed. It's been of much similar fashion from Saifuddin really. Getting the goal in the middle of the game. Defending really well. And then putting the nail in the coffin at the dying minutes of the game. As we see the Argentinian forward converting his chance to put Manchester United two goals in front of United in front of Real Madrid. Will we see a third year? Aguero has a shot, but will get denied this time by Navas. Real Madrid got about two minutes to try and salvage something from this game. The draw looks highly unlikely though. City look far too comfortable in the driving seat now. But will Ronaldo be able to at least get a consolation goal. Gareth Bale stepping over the free kick will be taken short. James Rodriguez, Mateo Kovacic. One, two pass too many for Hibidi. And we will see Saifuddin, the underdog, beat Hibidi 
2-0 with his Manchester City side. Saifuddin, you know, using Real Madrid in the first game and then Manchester City in the second game to great effect. Seeing both games 2-0 victories. And he looks like a strong contender going into this tournament. Hopefully, he does progress far on with the tournament. And as I give the time over to the very capable hands of Apple. All right, that was an amazing round one. It was Hibidi versus Saifuddin. Saifuddin taking the win for this round. Okay, for the eFootball showdown that is now taking place in the middle of Kalang Wave Atrium, we are going to head on to round two. So this is a qualifying stage for players to progress on in the tournament to stand a chance to win $2,000 in cash and $500 worth of prizes, all right? So round two will start shortly. I will be with you guys in a moment. Thank you so much for casting the game, Samuel. And we'll be back in five to ten minutes. Thank you. All right, all participants, after you have finished round one, you have a five to ten minute break. So you can go to the, to the loo, anything you want, grab a bite, and we will start in ten minutes. <laughs> 